and I have to state the domain. This was page 204. So can anyone give us a domain or how? Wh what is the starting point? Not the actual domain yet because we're not there yet. But what should I write for this log to exist? x minus 2 greater than... Excellent! That's all I need. Awesome. Move to divide by 3. So if at the end of the day I get that x equals 0, I'll say no way. If I get that x equals negative 10, I'll say no way. Whatever solution I get, it has to be greater than 2 thirds, not even 2 thirds. So like, I, I don't know, I'm making numbers up, of course. If I get x equals 7, I'll say OK. But if I get 0 or negative 10 or even 2 thirds, I'll say no way. Okay, that's the purpose of this. Now, how do I clean this up? I have to clean it up. It's not ready for me to work on anything. What should I do first? Very good, that's my first step. So negative 5, natural log of 3x minus 2. I subtract 3 from both sides and I get 7. Awesome. I haven't finished cleaning it up. That's it. Awesome. So natural log of 3x minus 2 equals negative 7 fifth. Now, I dig deep. And I realize that I have a log. I don't see the base here. What is the base here? Is there a base? Ten, right? Careful. E. E, right? If it's ln, it's E. If it's log, it's ten. Good. So I have to change the log equation into an exponential equation. The base raised to whatever equals this. So can anyone tell us how to write this? This is equivalent to. To what? This means this implies this. What you're going to tell me implies that. Exactly. E to this power equals this. Awesome. So now we change this into, because this is a number. Who cares? This is a poor number. So how do I clean this up to get x? Keeping in mind that this, don't even look at this. It's just a poor number. Add to the size and divide by 3. Very good. Thank you very much. I have to approximate it. I have to make sure that it is a number greater than 2 thirds. If not, I'll cross it out and say no solutions. So, it would be, because this is a positive number, tiny but positive. So this is in the numerator. So I already have the 2 thirds, but a little bit more in the numerator. So this number will be greater than 2 thirds. In case you want to see, make sure you can, but obviously it's correct. So do not forget parentheses. The numerator has to be in parentheses. E, okay, um, negative 7 fifth, close, come back down from there, plus 2, and uh, divide by 3. And of course, this has to be greater than 2 thirds. It's absolutely clear because e to negative 7 fifth is a positive number, tiny positive number. So we accept the solution. We accept the solution as being greater than 2 thirds. Accepted. Okay, 
So I think we have time to look at a word problem. So we can complete this section. We had a lot of review to do here, but that's OK. So um, let's look at um, either value of a stock if that's what you want. Um, Uh, or demand, or cooling liquid, just let's choose one, whatever you want. And then we can move on from this section. New 75. 75, very good, demand. So I have um, the price in dollars per unit with a consumer willing to pay, so this is 75 on 205. Okay, her popular high-end digital camera is given by P of X equals 1450 minus 150 natural log X. Where X is in thousands of units, thousands of units, X, thousands of units, fine. And the price is in dollars, fine. Where X is, good, what price corresponds to a demand of 30,000 units. So this is the price. The price in dollars per unit, this is in dollars per unit, per unit. Uh, consumer is willing to pay for a popular demand digital camera is given by this. X is in thousands of units. What price corresponds to a demand of 30,000 units? And then how many units will consumers buy at a price of such and such? So A and B. We can start immediately with B. How many units will consumers buy at a price of 300 per camera? That's my first step. So I have 300 equals 1450 minus 150 natural log X. And then we'll talk about the demand. What price corresponds to a demand of 30,000 units? Uh, 300,000 units. Good, so let's, we are asked, if the price per unit is 300, how many thousands of units are sold? Okay. How many units will consumers buy at a price of 300 per camera? This is the price per unit, and we want to determine X in thousands. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, maybe hit the log by itself. Exactly. So I have to clean it up. What would be the first step? Subtract 1450. Yes. So uh, 450 minus 300, it's, I think, is 1150. Negative 1150 equals. Good. It's still not cleaned up. What do I need to do next? Negative 150. Both sides, very good. So I have 115 divided by 15 equals natural log x. I divided both by 10. These are both negative, so I get 115 divided by 15. I go back, dig deep to my, where is my super property? Right here. Log of any base, in any base of something equals y. The base raised to this power equals this. So how do I change this? E equals to E raised to this power equals x. Very good. So when I simplify, can I simplify in here by, by 5? 
and I get three and by far here somebody's coming and uh, by five here and I have uh, 25 is it 23. Uh, 23 thank you so there is nothing I can do I still have to plug in in the graphing calculator no matter what so let's take a look so I have E and in parentheses 115 divided by 15 or just plug in 23 divided by 3 same thing so I got uh, 2136 approximately but this is in thousands right so comma zero 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 units so that's part B now they're asking us for in part A I wanted to make sure that we are solving the log equation before anything else so in part A they're saying what price what price corresponds to a demand of 300,000 units but since X is in thousands I have to replace X by 300 in this formula so I only in for part A I will find P of 300 okay so I have that so this is 1450 minus 150 times natural log of 300 no one can do this by hand so I'm going to plug it in and what do I get let's see one four one four five zero minus a hundred and fifty and natural log is right here and three hundred so let's see the demand okay for the demand of three hundred thousand the price should be five hundred ninety four dollars and forty three cents per unit And that's it.